Hey guys, it is RC. Let me make sure, yeah, we are recording, thankfully. Uh, I just missed a whole video, so we'll just go back and rehash everything. Uh, this will be a pretty quick video since uh, we've already simmed everything. Um, user error, I guess. I'll just put it off to being rusty with this series, but that's not true. Uh, we haven't recorded this series in a while. I just kind of ran out of uh, pre-recorded videos and need to do some recording today on this series. So we'll get three or four done today, maybe finish out this season. Uh, and that'll give me, you know, about two to three weeks of uh, videos to put up for this series. Uh, if you're not aware, I live in the Houston area, and we have been deluged uh, over the last week with uh, Hurricane slash Tropical Storm Harvey. Uh, my area ended up with uh, about 32 inches of rain. Uh, there were areas within five or six miles that had 37 to 42 inches of rain, and some areas in the uh, midtown, downtown area uh, got upwards 40 to 50 inches of rain uh, in a week, uh, really in about three or four days. Um, the rain's moved off. Uh, our neighbors over in Beaumont are getting hammered right now. Um, so our thoughts uh, certainly go out to them as we know what they're going through. Uh, luckily, I got away with no uh, damage or anything, but uh, certainly was just one more thing to have to deal with. Uh, uh, you might be aware from uh, watching other videos on my channel that uh, I'm dealing with uh, my son. Uh, my 16-year-old was diagnosed with uh, cancer uh, about a month and a half ago, so we're dealing with that. In fact, he's supposed to be in for chemo today. Uh, we were supposed to go in yesterday uh, to start his next round of chemo treatments, but the hospital's closed and we can't get to it because it's uh, flooded down there. So uh, looks like the end of uh, end of next week is when we'll be going in. So anyway, being that I can't get anywhere in town, uh, even though it's a relatively nice looking day outside, it's uh, it's going to be a rain day that I get to stay at home, and we'll catch up on some recording for you guys. So uh, anyway, let's run through this real quick. We uh, we had a decent month. Uh, you know, my goal with Houston Baptist is typically just not to lose a ton of games. Now, last year we started off really well. This year, not quite as good. We were 4-1 and one coming into the month. Uh, we ended up losing four games and winning three, so a three and four month. What I was, you know, what I was happy with is we didn't have any losing streaks. We never lost multiple games in a row. We always broke up a losing streak with a win of our own. So that's, you know, that, that shows some ability. Also, a lot of our losses were relatively close. We had a nine-point loss. That was a blowout. Two points. And uh, that was another, you know, that was another big loss. Most of the losses, if we take a look at them, uh, you know, we're, in fact, two of the losses were very similar to this, where we almost got tripled in our free throw attempts and our free throws made. Even though we were competitive from the field, uh, just tore us up. And I think the other one was this one here, uh, 38 to 15. Yeah, over, you know, about two and a half to one. This one was pretty close. We actually had a little bit more... Uh, they had two more possessions, and, uh, well, how did they win that game? Uh, oh, that's our side right here. I was looking at it backwards, that's why. All right, so, yeah, they, they just shot better and shot better. You know, sometimes you just can't can't win for losing. And in the last game of the month, Dustin Counts uh, came down with an injury. Uh, I forget what happened to him. Let's see if it will tell me. Uh, I'm trying to remember what happened to him. Uh, a hernia, that's right. He, he got a hernia because I remember in the video that I thought I was recording that didn't record, the mysterious lost video, uh, I remember making the comment that my I have a brother-in-law that's had several hernias, uh, three or four that I can remember. Uh, I've never had one. I've had other problems, but not a hernia. And I do remember them being pretty painful, so... Uh, he's out probably through the end of the regular season. And we did land Lynn Odom, our last recruit. 
and he is a point guard, ranked number 307 in the country. Uh, okay shooter inside. He can create his own shot. He can hit free throws. Average hands. Average uh, average passing. So, you know, not the greatest assist to turnover ratio, but hopefully he can develop that. Um he can pull off the occasional defensive rebound, and he's an average defender. So, maxed out on quickness, almost maxed out on stamina. So, he's coming in with a yellow current rating uh, rating and a blue potential. You can't put everything on the colors, but they, they at least kind of help point you in the right direction. So, that uh, that was our month. And, uh, you know, we'll, since I'm all I'm doing is a recap here, I guess we'll go ahead and condense uh, the two videos together for November for December and January all right so our first game is here on the second coming in we are seven and five uh, we start conference play I think on the 12th so we'll send to there and then we need to go in and set our depth chart now Dustin counts is a bench player but we're gonna recommend here uh, see, it moves Willie way down. What is he shooting here? All right, nine and a half points, 51% from the field. Salvatore, well, he's shooting 52% from the field. You know what? Let's go ahead and. Well, he's a better defender. Salvatore might be a better shooter and rebounder. Yeah, maybe. All right, well, you know what? Let's go with that. Now, Willie is 6'4", so he can be a... All right, we're going to take Mull off of that. I want him just being my point guard. Bryant, you're going to be my two guard. Power forward, center. See, I had O'Brien coming off the bench too, didn't I? Pretty sure. Yeah, he hadn't started a game all season. So who's my other guy? Was it Hockett? No. Might have been. No, it wasn't him. Willie, small forward. Well, shit. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to have to go back and, and look here at the last box score. All right, so it was Perez, Wetzel Perez. All right, so let's look at our depth chart for Perez. Okay, so he's here now. All right, I don't want him to be a small forward. Now Perez, Perez is a good shooter. Now he's getting 6.9 points a night, hitting 54%, 63% from the foul line. 13, see the reason I had that was because O'Brien could spell Wetzel and Perez. So I think that's still the way to go. I wish there was, you know, that's one thing. A lot of games will give you an opportunity to to lock uh, a player in place in a depth chart. This one doesn't, which is okay, but, you know. All right, I want him only being my point guard replacement because he's got the best handling and passing outside of Mull. And... Yeah, we'll try Salvatore switched out for Willie. We'll give that a shot. Uh, let's go into the strategy. O'Brien, Wetzel, and Salvatore. We don't want any three-point usage or very low. All right. 
Alright, so let's send this game against Long Beach, and we get a nice win. 17 points for Salvatore with 10 boards and as he gets his first start. O'Brien gets 10 points coming in to fill in for Perez and Wetzel. And Dean Willie, 4 points. Alright. Well, that may be... Uh, well, let's take a look here. Yes, yeah, Salvatore led the team in points and assists. That might be the way to go. You know, you got to be willing to tweak things a little bit. But basically, once you find something that works, stick with it. All right, there's a loss. Not a horrible loss. What's that? Uh, seven points. 15 for Wetzel. 22 for O'Brien coming off the bench. Uh, Salvatore got shut out. Dean Willie ended up with six points. We had a lot more possessions, just shot worse. Shot worse across the board. So, you know, if you don't shoot well, you're not going to win very many games. All right, Utah Valley. This should start conference play, I believe. And we get the win. And we start conference play off 1 0. Sweet. All right, this was a nice win. 21 points. 12 points for Wetzel. 8 for Salvatore, 18 for Bryant, 13 for O'Brien, Willie had 4. More possessions, better shooting, more free throws, better, uh, not as good as shooting, but more equals more. Awesome. South Dakota, another win and an injury. All right, so we get a seven-point win. We'll take a look at the injury in a second. 22 for O'Brien off the bench. Excellent. 18 for Bryant. 16 for Wetzel. Perez with 14. Salvatore and Willie both with four points. Now, they had 10 more possessions, but we shot better. And then we had 11 more foul shot attempts, and we shot better. Not much better, but, you know, we got nine more points there. Rebounding was close. Assists were close. We had four more steals. Less turnovers. Very good. All right, Francis Perez, a bruised jaw. He's going to miss about seven days. So our next game is here. So let's see what he looks like. He might not be 100%. 96%, so I'm not going to worry about changing that. So the the if you were curious, even though the check mark is not there, which means to address it, he's still probably my best player right there. I mean, you know, O'Brien's probably my best player, but because he's 6'11", he can also spell at center, which nobody else can, especially with counts out. So... It behooves me to have him coming off the bench. Um, and 96%, that's pretty close. So we'll, we'll, we'll just work with that. All right, there's a loss, 99%. So he'll be 100% before our next game. Oh, and the win uh, gave us a 2-0 and conference start. Longwood's out of conference. We lose this one by 11 Bryant and O'Brien had 14. One for four, one for four. Yeah, a lot of bad shooting in there. Um, neither team shot well, but we we were five of ten from the foul line. They were 24 out of 34. I mean, that, you know, 19 extra points and we lost by 11. You know, there's you know, it's one of those you just can't do anything about. All right, all that was was that he, Perez was back to full health. We'll take a look at it, though, but there you go. Perez has recovered from his injury. All right, Texas Pan American. Come on, another win. Ooh, and we scored 99 in this one. Very nice. 
All right, Brett Mull led the team with 23, Bryant with 22, Salvatore with 14, O'Brien with 13 off the bench, and Wetzel with 11. Very well distributed scoring, both teams with 67 possessions. They actually outshot us a little bit, but then we doubled them up on the free throw attempts and more than doubled them up on the conversions. 10 extra rebounds. They ended up with 11 more assists. We doubled their steals. Brett Mull, player of the game. Excellent. So again, we you know we we've lost some games, but we didn't lo have a losing streak, and we actually managed one winning streak, maybe two if we're lucky. Uh, Perez gets hurt again, so let's check on that. A sprained ankle. He'll miss about nine days for that. Now we have three days. We have five days till our next game, so we'll we'll see how he's looking after that. Um, 61 to 50 and we are 4 and 0 oh to start conference play. Excellent. Three guys in double figures, O'Brien off the bench with 12, Bryant and Mull. 9 points, 5 boards for Wetzel. Mull with 5 turnovers in this game to only 4 assists. Man, if I could actually have a good point guard that could distribute the ball without just, you know, losing it, you know, 50% of the time or more, I'd probably have a much better team. <laughs> and the guy I just got is not going to be much better. I mean, he's an average hand ball handler and distributor, but, you know. All right, so Perez is still 86% with one day left to our next game. We might have to look at that, uh, but let's take a look at the standings. We're 12-7 and seven overall, but we are 4-0. and oh and atop the Great West Conference, even with the, wor <laughs> the two worst prestige teams are doing the best right now in conference. That's nice. All right, guys, well, we will put a cut in here, and uh, my apologies that the first video for uh, December did not record, but we played catch up there. So thanks for checking this out. Um, as always, if you like the video, please give it a like, a thumbs up. That helps other people find the video. And if you like the channel, you like what you're seeing, and you want to stay up to date on, on future releases, please give a subscription if you'd like to. Thanks for your time, and uh, thanks for checking out the video. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.